Hey, it's me, Dr. H. We will start the tutorial by not deleting the cube, instead deleting the camera and lamp by pressing X, so we can work clearly. Then select the cube, and in the collection menu, change the name of the cube to geo underscore human body. After changing the name, we will go to edit mode, so we can start shaping our boring cube. You can also go into edit mode by pressing tab. You can also see on the right bottom which keys I am pressing. In object mode, also hide our timeline by pressing right click and pushing it down. Then again go into edit mode. Okay, now the first thing we will do in edit mode is to subdivide the cube. First press A, this will select the whole cube then by right click and choose subdivide from the menu. This will provide more points to shape our cube. After subdividing, press shift alt s then press 1. This will make the cube blocky round in shape. After that select four bottom faces by holding shift. Then after selection press I to insert faces. This will help for the creation of the human neck. Go to side view and press E to extrude downward and give it a size whatever you like. You don't have to copy mine. Okay, now for working smart, we will add a mirror modifier. So turn on X-ray mode and change the point mode from face mode. After that, select half part of our simple head by box selection. You can also press B for box selection. After selecting the half part, press X and delete the vertices. Then move to the arrow to the right and click on the wrench icon from where we will add a mirror modifier. Search in the tab mirror modifier and select it. Then make sure you tick mark the clipping. With clipping on, your both parts will be attached like gum. And without clipping on, it will get separated, which sometimes causes problems. So turn on the clipping, then turn off the X-ray mode. After that select the bottom vertices of the simple head and delete it by pressing X. Then go to the side of the simple head and select three vertices by holding shift. After that go to front view and extrude it. And this will be our shoulders. You can keep it however big you want to make it you don't have to copy mine. Then select the tweak tool and start shaping the shoulder region. Make sure you keep human reference images on your side. Okay, after the shoulders, I have moved on to the head. Give it a shape properly, whatever shape you want to give. I am going for a realistic human head, so I will tweak it that way. And one note, when I am saying don't copy mine, because I am just teaching you all principles. Giving shape to the mesh is up to you. You can make whatever shape you like, big, small, etc. But make sure don't stretch mesh faces too much. This will cause problems in shading. So try to make the faces as even as possible. Okay, now it's time to save our human project. Go in File menu and select Save As and then make folder and name it whatever you like. Then save the blend file in it. Okay, go in three quarter view and select front three vertices by holding shift. You can also select the whole loop by selecting the first vertex then by pressing control and selecting the last vertex of the loop. This will select the whole loop. Okay, after the selection of three vertices, go to side view and press E to extrude and make a human male chest. You can make the size or length whatever you like. Then after making the chest, go to back view and select backward three vertices. After that, go to side view and press E to extrude. This is the scapular bone of the human body. Then again extrude downward. After that, go to front view and make a V shape bottom part. Okay, now look around. This is for checking our mesh regularly. Okay, now we need to add a loop cut. For that, press Ctrl R or you can go to the left side tool panel and select the loop cut tool. You will see the yellow reference line, which is an indicator of where the loop cut will form. After adding, you can press double time G to slide the edge, as you can see on the screen. Okay, after adding a loop cut, select side middle vertex, then go to front view and extrude the edge. You can see this will be our shoulder. One very useful update in Blender 4.2 
is now you can select two vertices, and by pressing F you can fill the faces. It's cool. Then adjust little bit. After that, select the whole side loop. But, but how am I able to select the whole loop? By double clicking. For that, go to preferences, then go to the input menu, and in the mouse section, tick mark the section that I have done, and save the preferences. Then select the whole side loop, and go to front view. After that, press E to extrude. Then for connecting the middle bottom region of the chest, extrude front two vertices, and then by pressing F you can fill the faces. After that, start adjusting the vertices. Now we will add a loop cut according to our way. For that, we will use the knife tool. You can press the K key, or you can select the tool from the left side panel. Then, start adding points but do it carefully. Watch me first how I am doing. This loop will give us the shape of the scapular bone. After adding the loop, adjust it a little bit. On the back, you can see there is no connection of that middle point, so connect it with the bottom vertex by pressing J, or you can go to the top menu in vertex and choose the connect vertex part, its shortcut key is J. Then remaining in back view, pull every bottom vertex up and make the shape that I am making. Make sure to make the vertices curvy in shape. Here I am hiding the floor and axis from the overlay menu. This will make clear vision, and we can focus more on our model. Hide the 3D cursor also. Okay, now select bottom back vertices and E to extrude to make back of torso. Give shape U, little bit, then give loop cut in bottom of chest. This loop will help to connect front region and back region of torso. You can see here, then adjust little bit. Okay, add a loop cut, this will even out the chest faces, then fill the faces by pressing F. Then in the back side, again add a loop cut, don't add a random loop, every loop you should have meaning. Okay, now we will change face's direction. For that first select two middle vertices of back, then extrude it downward after we will merge the two corner vertices by pressing M, then select at last. In this option, merging occur on active selected vertex, then adjust little bit and fill the faces. Okay, now select front four bottom chest vertices. Then in side view, extrude the vertices and make long according to back length. Now,
Now fill the side faces. Now it's getting to look like human torso. Make sure to keep human reference on your side. Add loop in middle of side of torso. Then press Alt S and bulge out little bit outward. Okay, now this is stretch faces, so we will add loop cut to even out the faces. So add three loop cuts, then adjust the shape of torso. Extrude three time downward. After use proportional editing tool, which you can turn on from top middle round option. This tool will allow you to adjust shape smoothly without selecting multiple vertices. Very useful tool, but don't stretch mesh too much. Now we will connect the bottom front and back with middle vertices. This will give separation between two legs. Add loop cut in between new connected faces and bulge out outward by pressing Alt S and then adjust it.
After adjusting, we will duplicate head, and then we will use for proportion. For that turn on X-ray mode, then press C key and start selecting head. After selection, turn off X-ray mode, but press P and choose selection. This will separate out head, but before moving duplicate head to side, first we will apply mirror modifier. Go to object mode and apply mirror modifier. Give new head name head proportion, then put it in different collection. OK, now move head in left direction. By pressing G, then press X. Adjust properly. Now we will add array modifier. This modifier will give duplicate object whatever number we like. We need duplication in Z direction and dial number count to 8. Because we will make 8 head long human. By mistake, I have dial 7, but I will fix it later. Don't forget to save our work. Now, start adjusting the whole shape with proportional editing tool on. Make sure from head to bottom of torso will be forehead long. So, adjust that way. Hey, I hope you like my teaching method and tutorial. Please, don't forget to share my video. This will be my payment. See you in next part of this video. For now, bye bye.